Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this video, we are opening mail. I have this huge deck of mail that's been accumulating for the last couple of weeks. Um, I've been saving it to open with you. Once again, Serial at Midnight does not solicit for stuff. Uh, we do not expect you to send stuff. We do not ask for you to send stuff. But if you do, we're going to open it on camera because it's important to me to share that experience with you, not to gloat or to brag and say, look at my stuff, but to just have that be a communal experience so that we're all experiencing it together at the same time. So with that being said, uh, let's start with this. This is a package from Jackie Lawrence, um, JackieLawrence.com here. I will hold this sticker up. Jackie Lawrence is apparently an artist. Uh, I don't know what is inside here. So let's find out together. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a few things in here. But there's also... Uh, was it, there's a, a calendar, which we'll go through in a second. There's also a letter. So let me read the letter really quick. Okay, so it's a, it's a letter from Jackie explaining that they are an artist and that they have a calendar, that they have sent this calendar, and that even though it's halfway through the year as this is being received, that they had some extras and thought that I would appreciate it, and I do. Uh, you guys, this is essentially like a VHS... Um, VHS appreciation calendar. So this is VHS is happiness. All the photography and design is by Jackie Lawrence. So let's go through this really quick so we can show off Jackie's work. Oh, each day of the year has horror. So like John Carpenter's birthday, born 1948, January 16th. Wow, that's awesome. Love me deadly. <laughs> microwave massacre <clears throat> oh wow so march 2019 the, f the 4th of march gunner hansen was born in 1947 oh, rest in peace gunner hansen texas chainsaw massacre one of the in my opinion one of the most perfect horror movies ever made i know that not everybody will agree with that that's just my two cents uh whoa check out dr giggles you guys what <laughs> we got like real innards there Oh, Kurt Russell born, 1951. Kurt Russell, my favorite actor of all time. Night of the Creeps. This calendar is amazing. Oh, wow. Return of the, the Living Dead with brains. Oh, ice Cream Man. Clint Howard. Stephen King's It. The original. The original TV movie. Monster Squad. This is a f oh, look, look. Wolfman's got nards. Chopping Mall, aka Killbots. Uh, Jack Frost. <laughs> I love the theming that's done. It's December, so of course it's Jack Frost. Ice Cream Man for when it's starting to get hot outside. You want the ice cream? This is fantastic. Um, so. There's social media links. There's also something else here. We'll get to this in just a second. But um, Instagram is at home video horrors and Twitter is home video horror or at home video horror. So uh, very cool. Check out that work. That's amazing, you guys. There's a couple of other things. Let me see what we got here. Break out the handy dandy letter opener. Oh, wow. Make sure. No, there's still more in here. In multiple sizes. These are stickers in multiple sizes. Hopefully that's showing up for you guys. Don't fear the rewinder. And last but not least... These are amazing. And there's another little envelope in here too. So this feels like cards, maybe postcards or something. I don't know. Let's see. Yup. Oh. Yes. Schlock horror. Oh, wow. This is amazing. The pizza has eyes. Green, slimy eyes. Chud. 
<laughs> Blood Beach. Okay, if you if you're offended by gore, turn away for the next five seconds. It's fantastic. Oh, Fright Night. She's got the garlic and a steak. Frankenhooker. Here's another one. If you're offended, turn away. I know some. I, I get this. We have viewers that don't dig horror, so I'm just giving you a heads up. Uh, if you don't like horror, turn away for just a second. Blood Diner. <laughs> Popcorn. And last but not least, I don't think this is tied to any particular movie. This is just the creepy clown doll with a knife. As you do. So this is fantastic. So the website, once again, is uh, Jackie Lawrence. That's J-A-C-K-Y-L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E dot com. So I think that is a great... Jackie, thank you so much. Um, I think that was a great uh thing for us to open on the camera because so many people here love horror i love horror i love the vhs era so thank you thank you so much this is awesome uh the next two packages these come from my brother from another mother joshua jab uh comic book writer wrote bubba hotep and the cosmic bloodsuckers adapted it for uh comics for idw from joe r lansdale's book currently has an aew wrestling all elite wrestling gig he's composing some things for their website writing some things for their website um but uh he has sent me some i know one thing that's in here and uh and it's not even from him it's from his wife jill so i will shout those out as we receive them as i as i whip them out Ugh. i think i can just tear this open yes okay So, these Coffee Crisp bars come from his wife, Jill, from Jill Jabkuga, who, as I understand it, made it a mission, a mission quest, to find some Coffee Crisp bars. These are a Canadian candy bar. We were first, our taste buds were first lovingly exposed to Coffee Crisp via um, some bars that our buddy Jamie sent us from Canada. Uh, and they're like, if you haven't had them, they're like Kit Kat bars with coffee infused into every bite and they are delicious they are probably top three candy bar of all time maybe more so that way because i don't have access to them all the time and so when i do have them i can't smell them um they are a special treat but um i think there was some worry that maybe these would get a little bit melted because it is super hot here in the south you guys it's been in the 90s so but they are constituted they are single bars they are not like it's not all down at the bottom so thank you jill thank you so much we are going to savor them we're going to maybe just slice off a little piece uh maybe one one piece a night about that big and then we'll just savor them so the rest here i don't really know what i'm what i'm getting Oh, nice. Okay, so we have Outer Limits. This is from Josh. So we have, he has sent me Outer Limits Season 1 on DVD. Um, I'm trying to remember what some of my favorite Outer Limits episodes are. I don't own any of the Outer Limits. I've always wanted to, but it just, it just never happened. Um, you know, they used to do these. They do like a Twilight Zone marathon, and then they would do um, Outer Limits marathons on some holiday. Oh, I've just discovered more Coffee Crisps in the bottom. We don't have to be so frugal. We can actually have like maybe half of a bar in a sitting. So there's there's more. So there's four bars. Thank you so much, Jill. Thank you. Uh, there is a book in here. I have, uh, oh, the Two Bear Mambo, Joe R. Lansdale. So these are the Happen Leonard novels, right? This is from the, is this Happen Leonard? I don't know. Yes. Um, I'm trying to remember which one in the series this is. Um Savage Season, Mucho Mojo, The Two Bear Mambo. So I guess this is book three. Um, I got to get the rest of these. Let's see. We have also... Oh, it's a copy. I'm going to be careful with this. This is, a, this is a copy of Fangoria. The new... The newly revived Fangoria. Carefully get this out. Oh, they shipped it with protective, protective backboard. 
Nice. So this is uh, an issue of Fangoria from April of 2019. So this is either the most recent or the second to most recent issue of the newly revived. Uh, this is volume two, number three. This is a handsome, this is a handsome magazine. This is a handsome zine, you guys. Um, monsters, aliens, bizarre creatures. First look at Osgood Perkins's Gretel and Hansel. This is awesome. Thank you, Josh. Um, and there's one more package, so I'm going to go ahead and open that as well. This is also from Josh. Ugh. Oh my gosh! There is more Coffee Crisp! We might have a whole bar in one single sitting. Oh man, happy days are here again. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, we have... Holy cow! Rocketeer Wax Pack Eight glossy movie cards and one sticker. Oh man, do mm, do we open these or do we leave them like they are? They've lived all this time. This was Rocketeer was ninety one. I want to say it was ninety one. Uh, there is not a year on the back of the package, but I think Rocketeer was ninety one, and they have lived almost thirty years in this package. Do I leave them there or do we take them out? Let's think about it. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have, holy cow, Outer Limits Season 2, or Volume 2. Um, still sealed. Still in its original packaging. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Josh. What else do we have in here? Wow, Twilight Time. Christopher Walken, Sean Penn at close range. Stunning. You know, the bummer about Twilight Time is they print in such small runs that things rarely stick around for... By the time I discover so many things, I'm like, oh, that had a Twilight Time run. And they're gone. They're long gone. And uh, those prices kind of go up pretty pretty heavily, pretty steeply, um, most of the time. Death Dream from Blue Underground. Now, I don't... I've never seen this. I can't say that I'm overly familiar with it, but it's Bob Clark. Um... And, uh, let's see, produced and directed by Bob Clark, who was Black Christmas and A Christmas Story, correct? Those were both Bob Clark. Bob Clark, a myriad of tastes, <laughs> uh, a wide spectrum. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Josh. And uh, last but not least, oh, sweet. He has sent me his DVD set of Freaks and Geeks. I think he upgraded. I think that's what's happened here. He upgraded to Blu-ray for uh, Outer Limits because Kino Lorber has released Outer Limits on Blu-ray. And uh, as well, as Freaks and Geeks has a Blu-ray as well. And so I've never... Okay. Listen. <laughs> okay, listen. I've never seen Freaks and Geeks. I just never have. I was a little bit... I think this came out when I was in college and I was not watching TV. So I just haven't seen it. What year was this? Yeah, 99 and 2000. I was not watching TV in 99 and 2000. I was living my life, man. And I never caught up with it afterwards. But of course, this is the show that launched Jason Siegel, Seth Rogen, uh, James Franco. So I'm excited about it. I'm happy to, I'm happy to check it out and, and watch the show. So thank you, Josh. I really appreciate that. That's an incredible... Um, that's really, that's very generous. Thank you so very much. Um, and now we come back to the question of this. Do we, let's do it. They, they were not meant to sit in a pack. Some of you guys are going to be horrified, offended. Listen, these were not meant to sit in a pack. These have lived all this time. These are meant to be enjoyed and appreciated. And I'm sharing this with you guys, hundreds, maybe thousands of people. We will all experience this together. So, uh, Rocketeer. Okay, that's, this is our sticker. That's a sweet sticker. I might have to put this somewhere. Because again, not meant to live in a pack. Um, at the Bulldog Cafe. The Man She Loves. Mayhem on the Runway. Atop the Zeppelin. Attacked by Lothar. You guys, I love the Rocketeer. I really love the Rocketeer. Romanced by Sinclair. Jennifer Connelly was beautiful in that movie. It's a throwback to 30s pulp. Um, action scene shot outside of the Griffith Observatory. So classic Hollywood. I did it, PV. If I had a dime for every time I've said that. And then, last but not least, Jenny's ploy. Timothy Dalton coming off of his uh, stint as James Bond. 
Josh, these are awesome. I hope you're not upset that I opened them. I'm so happy to have them. Now I kind of want to know what a set for these goes for on eBay because uh, I miss the movie cards. I think we still do. They still make trading cards, but they're not they're not what they were, right? They're they're not the glory days of the trading cards. I would say the glory days with the Ninja Turtles era, the Batman 1989 era, into 92. I had the 92 cards as well. Um, things like that. Uh, so that's very generous. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Josh. And then last, but certainly not least, we come to this package from Brian Trash. Now, this thing had a ton of tape on it, so I have taken the liberty to pre-cut most of this just to not struggle on camera, but I do not have any idea what's inside. So, <clears throat> okay, let me put this right here. We have lots of newspaper securing it. Oh, wow. Okay, we have protective cardboard. We have protective cardboard. We have protective cardboard. Whoa, it's a bunch of books and cool stuff, you guys. Oh, okay, I gotta put this on the ground. You guys see what's inside this? Johnny Cash, Forever Words. This is his book of lyrics, poetry, whatever. Yeah, Johnny Cash, Forever Words, The Unknown Poems. Uh, edited and introduced by Paul Muldoon, forward by John Carter Cash, which is, of course, his son. Um, holy cow. You know, I knew this had come out, and I, I wanted it, but it was just, it hasn't happened. There's so many things, you know. There's only there's only so many hours in the day. There's only so much cash on hand uh, to, to do some of these things. But this is just a collection of Johnny Cash's, uh, his writings. Brian, thank you, man. And there's more here, so I'm going to... Let's see. I've just discovered there's a second level to this box. Okay. Wow. Okay, what is what is in here? Oh, wow. It's a little Batman wooden figure here. It's, he's kind of turned sideways. Let me see if I can... Trying to jiggle him back into space, into, into place. It's uh, almost, almost, buddy. Well, okay. <laughs> it's Batman. It's those like old cool wooden, old school, old cool wooden, um, wooden figures. I'm going to see if I can delicately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, geez. There's a whole set. There's a whole set of these guys. I've never seen this before. Okay. Here we go. Oh man. <laughs> that is so adorable. Robin to the Batmobile. That was bad. This is the best I can do. I don't really do Adam West. I love Adam West. Um, Brian has been watching the channel because he knows the stuff that I love. He knows that I love Johnny Cash. He knows that I love Batman. All right. What else do we have here? We have a book. I cannot make out what the book is. <gasps> what? Planet of the Apes, number two. Escape to Tomorrow. Superior entertainment, masterful adventure from If Magazine. Wow. This is fantastic. What year is this? I'm going to say 71? 74. It's copyright 1974 and 1975. This is amazing. With a cigarette ad in the middle. Don't you miss the good old days when they just throw whatever in the middle? It'd be like a, an offer for like a knife <laughs> or like, uh, and some of the Mac Bolan novels, there's like, you can get like a bullet casing. It's, it, what, what interesting times you guys. That's, that's fantastic. All right. What is this? Is Bob Newhart? I don't know what this is. This is like a Bob Newhart. How? Okay, hold on. Let me. Do I remember this? It's, he's like a cartoonist, and he's drawing, or like a comic book artist. All right, hold on, you guys. <laughs> Bob Newhart, one of television's most enduring comedy uh, comedic actors, stars as the affable Bob McKay. I'm perspiring under these lights, you guys. 
uh, the creator of a 1950s comic book superhero, Mad Dog, in Bob, the complete series. When the reluctant comic book failed to take off as expected, Bob reluctantly became a greeting card artist. Now, through a series of events, Mad Dog has been revived. Bob's dream, however, is short-lived when the publisher sells out Bob and, his, and, his, and Bob and his staff are fired. Comedy ensues when Bob's life comes full circle and he is re rehired to run the Schmidt greeting card company he originally left. Supported by a memorable cast included Cynthia Stevenson, Carlene Watkins, Jerry, Bur uh, Jerry Burns, and TV legend Betty White. What? Thank you for being a friend. Um, plus appearances by TV veterans Tom Post from Newhart and Dick Martin. Uh, it delivers 33 episodes of laughs and solid sitcom fun. This is from Paramount. I don't think I, I don't really, rem I don't think I remember this show and I don't think I even knew that this existed on DVD. So I'm just going to say thank you so much. This is, dude knows me, man. He knows that I was ch chasing down the, the Bob, uh, the Bob Newhart show on DVD. And he knows that I, it's like a superhero, like a comic book character. I'm, I'm, um, I got the vapors. It's like, all right. Last but not least. Oh my gosh. To compliment. Mmm. Okay. This is, I'm, mmm. Willie Nelson. God's problem child. Now, I have a I'm I'm going to be doing a video, a video about Willie Nelson relatively soon and this is one of the things that I want to talk about. I don't have it yet. I have not bought this. He has released 3 albums in the last 3 years. Um and without going too deep into what that video is going to be, I'm wondering if they're his last 3 albums because he is way on up there in age and this is his first new material in years, these 3 albums. And uh, I really think that um, he's maybe saying goodbye to us. And so I have been meaning to get this. It's in my Amazon cart and on my Amazon wish list. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. So thank you so much, Brian Trash. Um, thank you. This, all of this stuff is so wonderful. Uh, I cannot wait to spin this. I've been doing more vinyl videos, trying to reconnect uh, or, or just connect with the vinyl audience. Uh, cause I'm so passionate about it. I do love vinyl so much. So, um, this is incredible. This, this entire mail hall, you guys, this is so generous. This is so humbling. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for sending. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is obviously overwhelming for me. So uh, I appreciate you take care. And until next time, I will catch you later.